I was going to say, do you know who, who, the, who the chairman is of the club? Chairman is yeah. Jesu Rudia. He was a player of the team. He was the captain in the in the nineties. Oh. In some years, he was the captain of the team. Oh, is, is you, who are the owners? Why are they from? The owners are the members. So it's not all, uh, Athletic Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Osasuna. Now we're going this way, and I will explain you. Those are limited companies or limited societies where the owners are the members. They're not simple abonnated. Oh, right. When you became a member. You have to pay, uh, in the beginning you have to pay money for the club and then you're forced to pay each year the season ticket. If you don't pay for a year, you lose yeah. more. And those members, or abonnated, they choose the president every four years. So the president is not the owner, the chairman is not the owner. Okay. Uh, he's a president chosen by the member. And the members is are... He, is he from Bilbao? They are, they have the, each member has his season ticket. Yeah. He has to pay it. Yeah? Yeah. And we have uh, an own rule because of and because of that uh, we never have over the ninety percent of the capacity of the stadium with members. Okay. So the ninety percent of the of the people that came to San Mamés is owner of the team. Okay. Right. So we don't have stocks. We don't have action. Right. Uh, yeah. Any questions? Um, Here's the thing. <laughs> I was going to say, we came to the derby, you know, the yeah. and we saw sort of big support like that. I was thinking, um, and they were getting along, their friends. I was going to say, who are your rivals? Yes. Uh, yes, it's a local derby. Yeah. Historically, the, the rivals of Athletic, uh, they've been Barcelona and Real Madrid. Barcelona. Now we're not in the same level, it's true. Yeah. But we like to, to, um, to fill our team like a big. Yeah. We are a historic big. Maybe today not. But maybe the, the biggest rival could be Real Madrid, the, Real Madrid, the yeah. most w weighted match here, and the most wanted to want, wanted to, to win is that one of, against, uh, against Real Madrid. Is that because they're a big team or anything? Ah, well, in the past they've been. Is there any history or anything? Yeah. Ah, so this is all the history. Yes, oh. the, play, the teams of Athletic winners of the cup. Ah. teams. And then the room, the showers. We can uh, we can show you the jacuzzi. We can show it. <laughs> showers. That's cool. And then you enter the world champion sits in number twelve. Munian sits in number fourteen. We have Bart Simpson there because we used to call him Bart Simpson. <laughs> Big stadium, isn't it? Yeah. How much thousands is this stadium? How many? Forty thousand. Forty thousand. You can take a seat and dance if you want. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah. You want to get a picture? It has a hundred years. It's about uh, to be demolished down because the next season we will pass to the next stadium. Oh yeah. yeah. It will be unfinished. The next stadium, you, you, maybe you see from the street and yeah. kind of you. And that will be the, the, the stadium in the beginning. Once we are playing there, this will be demolished down, and we, we will use the street on a, in a part of this site to do the, the stand that still is the next one. Yeah. This is some of us on the beginnings, eight years after the, the beginning play here. And now we're going to the press conference room. Here it comes, they came especially for the match days. This is the place for Marcelo Bielsa, the coach of Athletic, where he makes his pitches. And then here, some history matches. That's a 5 0 against Real Madrid 40 years ago. This order is the first match of the of the European Cup. That year, we arrived to the quarter final round against Manchester United. <laughs> and then, Telmo Zarra. That one is the biggest striker of ever of the history of the Spanish league. In the middle. Yes, Pelmo He scored 253 goals on his career in the league and 81 in the cup. In the whole history of the, of the Spanish league in cup, the player scored Zara. more goals. And the last picture is the way to celebrate titles here in Bilbao in 1984 was win the league, the cup and the super cup.
Ah, no. And from that year, we don't have win titles. Uh, it's a lot of time, but we have to understand that football has changed a lot, yep. especially in the 90s with the Bosman ruling. Mm. Yeah. But it's true that athletic is something special and something romantic. Isn't I it? pay the Cantero policy. Yeah. That's, uh, you don't buy any players then. No, uh, just players born or grown up in the Basque country. Ah, so the Basque country could be three million or, or three million and a half of population. Oh, nice. Uh, how can we do that? Uh, yeah, it's hard. And, and then this is a rich team. It's a fifth, sixth richest team in the Spanish league. And then we don't have uh, depths. Because you can be rich, and have but depths, if you yeah. have lots of depths, I don't know what kind of rich you are. For example, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Yeah. Uh, you can be richer if you don't pay your your taxes, you know. There's and, and spending happens, oh, yeah, yeah. and a lot. You know, you have to pay taxes when you sell when you sell players. Uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona each one could have 400 million euros. Mm. Same in England, they have lots of Man United, Man City. Yes, have lots of debts. But uh, in Spain, more or less every team they have. Yeah, debts. we we don't have too much debts. We can have about. Two million euros or something this way, but we can say that we don't have debts. That's good, good. And and those debts are, are the the money that you have to pay to the bank because they bring you money in the beginning of the it's, it's good policy, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. Policy. So it's something clean, clean and it's fair. So because some teams they are they have players scoring goals and they didn't pay by the by, mm. by the players. So the Spanish league is very corrupted in this this way. Okay. Like in policy, uh, it happens with the politics and other things. Yeah. And the Spanish league is, isn't they, they don't have the financial fair play and it's needed to have it right now. Oh, okay. Like it happens in Germany. Yeah, I've heard it. This is place for the, uh, for the press. They came here especially for the match days. So you can take pictures if you want. Mm. So he should be inspired in this art to do that one off. No. Uh, at one day. We can say, you know, in Man uh, Manchester United, there's lots of politics to support teams. Any politics here to support a team, like for no. identity or anything like that? Yes, this idea of, the, of identity, I think it's overly politic. So it's used in the politic too, yeah. to, um, like a kind of nationalism. But the supporters of Athletic, they uh, vote every kind of. Uh, parties, yeah. especially in the Basque country where we have more parties than in, in Spain and the supporters they, they vote for, for